I never knew how important it was to have a lot of sense of humor in your work. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. that's like life savior. Just to like enjoy for real what you're doing yeah. and have always the ability to like laugh at things and just like have fun with what you're doing. And I feel like... And with who you're doing. Yeah, that. yeah. Mm -hmm. Our collective has been really strong in that. We, we just like... You know, like, okay, we're on a trip. Let's go to a road trip. Like, and everything is just like kind of like it could be stressful, but we never kind of like go into the stressful emotion of things and we just like make it fun. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, yeah, I, I never knew that that was a, such a huge value and like quality to have. I didn't expect that. And, and it's been really surprising in a really amazing way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that has been also a, a huge like learning. In this. Working in theater, it's you make a plan and then the plan gets thrown out the window. And I knew that going into the process, but I didn't really realize how much so. And I knew as the leaders of the theater, yes, we're going to be looking after artists. Yes, we're going to be managing a budget. Yes, we're going to look after facilities in a way. But there was things that came up that I was just like, I didn't know this is what I'd be doing when I woke up this morning. Like, I didn't know I would be on my hands and knees cleaning the kitchen because we had a surprise inspection coming in. And if we don't have the kitchen clean, then our licenses get taken away. I didn't know that for our first production, oh, we actually need some distilled water to, to be in our, um, in our first show. There is a vessel that's made part of the stage and that vessel is filled with water. And we found out couple hours before performance started that, oh, actually distilled water is what needs to be in there. And I was like, okay, fine. Esperanza, let's get in the car. Let's go find some distilled water. Let's go to Costco. It should be easy. 10 stores. <laughs> yeah, distilled water was actually, for some reason, really hard to find. So we were on a road trip around Connecticut to 100 find gallons. 100 <laughs> gallons of distilled water. Who would have known uh, that would, would be my day when I woke up? So there's just moments like that. It's just really small, random things of running a theater that you don't know it's going to be something you're responsible for until it pops up in the moment. So being a leader of a theater really is being able to be resilient and be able to pivot when something comes up that you didn't expect or when you get a curveball. And I feel like that's been a process every day. It's just like taking the curveballs and still finding a way to get a home run at the end of the day if things have to change and the whole day needs to be recon reconfigured, that making theater, especially during a pandemic, especially in um, at such a grassroots level, because we do everything, that you really need to like trust each other, the people that you're working with, and then also just like have faith that if you trust each other, the it'll come together no matter what challenge. Um, and it's beautiful because it's a beautiful exercise of like, of, of just like faith and community, faith in the collective, and then also faith in the artists that you're working with. I've learned so much in this experience. Um, I think, especially at this school, uh, for the experience of the actor, the actor is usually the last person to come into the process. Like usually the, the, the design team is already filled. They've been working for months. Um, the playwright could possibly have been working for years. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then the acting actor comes into the role and um, and 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 does the job. And then you know perhaps there's another life. And but like the actor, I would say is oftentimes there for the least amount of time. Um, and uh, doing this or performing in this role as a producer, I have a whole new understanding of of the creative process overall. Um, and a, a new respect uh, for for all that goes into the process because most of it I hadn't seen before. For example, the, a production manager, really important. Didn't realize how important a production manager was. We don't, we don't have one. Currently, <laughs> I am currently the production manager for, for Summer Cap 2. We weren't able to, to find one just because uh, a lot of people are out of town and there are labor shortages, which is just one of the circumstances that we're working with. Um, so I am currently filling the production manager role and had to do my first fire walkthrough yesterday and had to fill out like the fire safety inspection sheet and, and learn what all of those terms meant and, you know, learn that, um, that, that the materials have to be like 
have fire retardants on them so that you know the place doesn't burn down it's like all of these little, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of these little details that i just took for granted um as an actor uh, and and really like every single day every single moment there is somebody responsible for 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 making um to to facilitate the creative space and move everything forward 